Airport Terminals 3 and 4. Today we are here to ride the new 292 bus which does a loop from Redcliffe Station to these, these terminals. Here's the new bus stand. Coming in three minutes. So Redcliffe. Here it comes, all remaining luggage rack buses have now been dedicated to this route. Some of them have been changed to a normal bus, but the ones that exist now do this route. So you can't sit at the front. Redford Station via Terminals 3 and 4 Circular via Direct Factory Outlet. TP2379, one of the four or so luggage rack buses left. Let's get on. Okay, we're going to travel now to the circular station. I never really knew that there was only six luggage rack buses. I thought there was like 40 or 30 or something because I anticipated you'd need way more for the 389, 35 and 40, but there was only six and now there's only four left I think since they really only need it for this route which they only need one bus on although I really think they should also put it on route 37 but they didn't so 37 is just like gas buses And it also serves a unique section which previously wasn't served at the factory outlet, so that's cool.
painted correctly, it doesn't show a left turn for the buses, but you, we now turn left to the station. And also, look at 940 is in front of us, that's weird. Uh, seeing 9 and 4 together just doesn't seem right, because I just can't remember any other routes like that really. I mean, there is others, but it just looks weird. station. Two nine two arrives at Redcliffe. Now make sure you watch the Redcliffe station video now. See the rest of this station. Station. Now from here in Redcliffe, we don't really have many new routes. It's just routes which used to terminate near here and got extended or shortened to this station and some routes which would used to go to the city like the 36 now became the 290 and just comes here and with the 291 which used to terminate in South Guildford now also comes here. I'll show you on the map over here. Hi, we come service down on the platform. <laughs> That's a cool shot. I should have done that in my red clip video. Yeah, anyway. So, if you look here on the map. Now, there is only seven routes which come to Redcliffe Station. One of those, of course, being the 292 domestic loop, which I already filmed. Then this 290 is the replacement of the old 36 to Midland, and the 291 is the replacement of the old 304. Then instead of heading down here, where like the old 304 used to go, it just extends up here and comes to the station. Now, the 39 service used to terminate here and I made a video about that, you can watch it in the corner but then it was extended to go along here and travel where the old 935 route used to go and come to the station but the 935 route now travels a more direct path past Belmont shopping center as you can see there and then to Victoria Park transfer station to the city in Kings Park so that's not really new either. And the only other two routes are the 293, which just travels the same path as 935 onto Great Eastern Highway, and then connects where the old once a day 293 used to go. Travels all the way down, all the way up. This is where the old 293 used to go. Turns around, but then instead of going to the Mitervale terminus, terminates at Highwaycombe Station, the only route connecting Redcliffe and Highwaycombe. And the final new route is one which was implemented due to the fact that all the routes which used to go along Great Eastern Highway to Kalamunda and stuff like 295 to 299 um, and 36 and 40 and all that got removed so they just made it into one high frequency service which will constantly serve Great Eastern Highway leaving Redcliffe and then just straight down all the way to Victoria Park transfer station and to Elizabeth Key. Now that is probably the most significant um, new route. <laughs> also there's like this shop here for lease, look at that, imagine buying here to sell stuff. Yeah, so that's the most significant new route since it's a high frequency, which rarely new high frequency routes get added. Um, and even though it does serve streets which have, and roads which have all already been served, it's quite significant to have a high frequency route, so I'm just going to time lapse that. Here's the standard departure from stand one. 40 minutes, in fact, all the way to Elizabeth Key. And you can see it's very frequent, every 10 minutes during most of the day. And on weekends, every 15. So that's good. Right now, we're going to have a 935, 39, and 940, all part of the same time on this Sunday to the city. But obviously, 940 is fastest, then 935, and then 39 is the slowest. Um, yeah, so we'll just time lapse the new 940 high frequency route serving Great Eastern Highway all the way down. Now, 
there's one other thing. 940 is now mainly the only route serving Great Eastern Highway, but there is the 293 which serves it for a very small section. Although they were really silly, and the signs for 293 all have a mistake, even at Highwycombe Station, saying that it still goes to Elizabeth Key, which was the old once a day route, which I also filmed a section of, like at the old terminus of the route in the old in the other video which I'll link in the corner. So I don't know now that has to fix all of that. Anyway, I'm just gonna get on a 940 now. p.m. Route Lucat to Kings Park is estimated to depart in six minutes. Route Lucat to Kings Park is estimated to depart in 21 minutes. Just a quick debrief now of that journey here in Elizabeth, not Elizabeth, <laughs> Kings Park. The lovely view of the city, best view from up here. You just heard that blue cat announcement there. They have some new voice for the e-ink bus stop display at Elizabeth Key Stand C7 for the blue cut up here. Anyway, my quick comments for the 940. I think the frequency is just too high, honestly. On the whole route, there's probably just about five people I think that used it. And most of them just did a very short section from the middle of Great Eastern Highway to Burswood Station. So it's not very justified the frequency of the route although I just find it crazy that this Great Eastern Highway which used to have so many bus routes now only has 940 for most of it so all those like bus express ramps that you see not ramps but bus express ways through the middle of intersections like on the side of intersections to get past the traffic now it's just for one route which sounds really dumb before it was for like 
so many. Now Burswood Station used to have like seven or something routes serving it. Now it's only 940 and 935 and also 270 from High Wycombe and 39 but that's only on the inbound side. So not many routes now serving the Burswood stop. And I just think the frequency is too high for Great Eastern Highway. Like before it was good because you could get directly from any of those stops to like Kalamanda but now you can only go to Redcliffe going to Kalamanda means you have to go to Redcliffe take a train to High Wycombe then take another bus so it's it's not really that useful anymore which means the old amount of people that used to use it on Great Eastern Highway it's not going to be that many people using it anymore so I don't know I think they overestimated the amount of people that are going to use the 940 so there's going to be Maybe, maybe on weekdays it's more, but on weekends certainly not every 15 minutes. Mm. Yeah, but at least it's another way to get to the city instead of using <laughs> airport line, which I've been on so many times now. Even though I'll never get sick of the line, it's beautiful. So is this view. Yeah, so that's the new high frequency service now ready to take you along Great Eastern Highway if you need to. Mm. I was gonna say some other things but I forgot now because they travel all the way up here. Oh wow, what's this? Mass grave. So, yeah, that's about it I guess.